Hey there guys. So today guys, I want to show you how we're going to do a wireless wash on this Audi A3. It's a 2021 Audi A3. This car is a daily driver and it's been used in really um, dirty places like construction sites and uh, etc. etc. It's a workhorse and it picks up a lot of dirt there's a lot of traffic film on the car itself so here what i'm going to do is i'm just going to spray some apc on the lower half of the vehicle the apc is diluted one to ten and we're not really concerned about stripping down any previous waxes could have going to reapply them anyway and uh, just trying to get as much dirt off just to make the wireless washing a bit easier for us so we're using really really not that much water today so the APC is a Corch Chem APC um, I'm reusing their bottle the same concentrate is being used on the wheel and tires themselves and uh, liberally sprayed over and worked in with a wiking brush the APC to agitate the dirt um, we're going to use the same brush on the face of the wheel. Um, the inner barrel, we just sprayed some APC inside of it and we're just going to use the power of the pressure washer to knock off as much dirt as we can. So we just want to do a really quick wash and effect as possible. So you can see we rinse the wheel off and now we're going to rinse the lower half of the vehicle just to get as much dirt as we can. These are the most important areas, the back of the car, because this is a hatchback and normally it's more or less of a flat surface and it does pick up a lot of dirt on the rear window. And especially in these, there's a lot of emblems in, in the back, so we need to kind of get as much dirt in between the nooks and crannies. Same as with the front, you have these intricate grills, so you want to knock off as much dirt as you can prior to a contact wash. So this is exactly what we're doing here now. Car Pro Wireless Wash. It's actually primarily sold as a car-like shampoo. You, you name it, uh, I call it as a car shampoo. It's a, basically, it's just a concentrate and you can dilute it to your needs. It can be used as a rinseless wash, one to, one to 200, or you can dilute it accordingly to be used as a wireless wash or as a quick detailer even. I mix it up with um, the ionized water. So my technique here is basically just using one cloth to wipe, wipe down all the dirt and I use a separate microfiber towel to buff off um, the paint because I find uh, microfiber towel is more efficient in picking up water um, or then remaining liquids on the surface of the paint and it leaves a really nice and streak free finish with the windows you have to be really accurate here and check the finish afterwards because during the process of clean the clear coat or the paint itself I see some streaks but they disappear in time in a minute or two with the windows you might want to be more intricate you might want to go with a wheel cleaner after this but if you see the finishes left clean behind you don't have to worry about anything just leave it like that so it's a pretty straightforward process use a, like a snake pattern go back and forth don't um, what I mean you go back and forth so you don't kind of agitate the dirt, you're just wiping the panel down. And wiping it down with a microfiber towel to perfection. So working in, in these areas particularly, you might want to take your time on working in between the emblems, but the uh, Pre-washed it really helped to knock off a lot of dirt, so I don't have to really overthink it. Um, if I see any dirt, I might want to take some time, especially in between the emblems, but it's really up to you. They're 
this rinseless wash, or, or I would call it, it's not rinseless wash, it's a wireless wash, what you call it, want to call this technique. It has its limitations because uh, it's really hard to get um, to work in through those intricate areas like the lower half of the grills and lower half of the, um, the vehicle, the exhaust and all that. It's harder to work in, so you might want to take your time with that. So we're using pure definition. Um, it's a quick detailer, so just to add some extra gloss and protection. So here I'm just basically working the product in. Um, I just put, I just spray a little bit of product, working in, and I'm not gonna use, I'm not gonna use a dry microfiber side to buff it off. I'm just working it in, just using a little bit of product, working it in, and. Um, just wait for 10, 15 seconds, and uh, you can see that this, the surface has no streaks on it. And now I'm finishing out with an auto glim tire dressing. It can be applied on a wet car, wet, uh, wet tires, and uh, I'm using a sponge to spread the product out. It's more effective rather than spraying it all over the, uh, the wheel itself. So this is the finishing product, guys. The car looked amazing, and uh, the owner of this car was more than satisfied with the finish so guys like and subscribe and um, please leave a comment if you have any questions or if you want to add something to the video this is just my technique the way i do it so cheers guys